Chess friends, how are you? The new Torch Chess engine has a performance of 10 million LO ratings and I am currently playing with Torch engine in a Blitz tournament event, in this game I am gonna show you how Torch trapped my queen but can he win the game. Perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection we can catch excellence, so let's go, I started the game with d4, we have knight f6, c4 to grab center space, after e6 and knight f3, everyone knows that the best move is to play d5 but Torch decided to play anti nimso Indian defense with c5, so I pushed the d-pawn, d6 and we have center exchanges, black played g6 to play bishop Fugnetto because the bishop is restricted behind his structure. We depend on things and people for our happiness, but if you really want to be happy, you should not depend on things or people, you should be happy rather than achieving happiness, you see my strategies here with arrow lines, knight a6 e4 knight to c7 and we have some top engine moves, knight c4 to target the backward pawn with the bishop involvement, upgrade your bishop position to castle, after castle we have bishop f4 to pressure the pawn, so knight e8 queen d2, making a queen bishop battery to play bishop h6, then push your h-pawn to break the file to attack in the h-pawn, ok, black responded with b6, we have h4 and h5 is coming, so bishop a6 h5 and we have first pieces exchanges, a6 bishop to h6, if you don't settle the kingside bishop problem and play a ordinary move for example rook to b8, then we will capture the bishop, takes takes and after takes, we will play queen check, since the rook is there the king can't go in f6 otherwise you will lose the rook. So after king f7 queen takes check knight here e5, sacrificing the pawn to play d6 discover check, don't be trapped or tricked by your opponent, stand bravely, but after queen e7 e6 check king e8 queen takes check king slides rook h7 to target the knight, rook here knight e4 threatening to play knight f6, this will create much problems for black and the real problem is that I have the two connected pass pawns, black position and pieces will be totally restricted. You have succeeded in life when all you really want is only what you really need, so back to the position, torch takes the bishop, so queen takes h6, this is coming, which is why torch decided to play queen e7, try to protect the rank and pawn like this, knight f6 will come to support the pawn, so after bishop, d3 we have knight f6 and his idea is to play knight g4 to kick out my queen, torch is a chess.com guy so he knows that how to come back in chess, but he's playing against me. I'm not just the world champion on earth, I'm the best player in the entire universe, we have c4 to sacrifice the pawn but there is a tactic, to play b5 with an extra move, after pawn exchanges you have to exchange the rooks, the a8 rook will threat you to play rook a1 check, and targeting to your bishop at the same time, that's the whole idea so. Back to the position, I simply moved back my bishop, b5 and try to understand this position deeply, the pawns should not be exchanged because the a-file will be open, the king shouldn't live in the middle of board, and you shouldn't capture the pawn, if you do it then after takes, how the hell white will attack to the black position. Everything will be secured and your nonsense pawns can't do anything, just give them salary and they will be happy, lol, so here I played long castle, 69 IQ dull brain human Gotham might think of playing b takes a4 but it will create some serious problems, opening up the bishop line, so after takes, we will push the d-pawn, and after some moves later we will play queen g5, queen here knight e4, and now tell me how will you defend your position. Donkey, 10 IQ people might think of playing rook a6, that's not a bad idea, lol, so back to the position, we have rook e8, g4, g5 is coming and if you play rook c8 blind fully, then g5 will come, knight runs pawn takes, checkmate is so close so after takes, e5 to open up the bishop diagonal, do you know my idea? Just follow my arrow lines, it's true that if you follow my chess advices then you will become more and more and more smart in chess, because I am the big fish in the chess ocean, ok black will consider knight takes e5, then knight e4 will come to fork the pieces, rook f8 knight check rook takes pawn takes and if you take it, then we will capture the h pawn, king here and this is coming. The art of life is to know how to enjoy a little and to endure very much, so back to the position, we have queen f8 to offer queen exchange, I declined it so we have rook e5, 
chess grandmasters might think of playing queen e3 or d2, try to save the queen, but after g5, black position will be well protected, all the best moves you played in the game will be wasted, I mean if you win a chess game, all your blunder moves will seem like brilliant moves, and if you lose a chess game, all your brilliant moves will seem like blunder moves, that's the human psychology, but in our actual game, I do not play for win, I play for my enjoyment and intelligence, so I take the knight, and I know that after g5, my queen is totally trapped, but I will try to capture as many pieces as possible, so f4, we have knight f8, don't be sad if you fall in down in your problems, problems will come and go in your life, he captured my queen, but I got three pieces for the queen. Black position is complicated because I have advanced pawn structure, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.